I felt this way Follow that river Covered with gold Shake that Just before the break of the day, I'll be your mountain. If you wanna stay, come on, meet me at the mountain. Hey everybody, greetings from the East Living Room. 
Uh, we're here. Here's Noah East. How you guys doing, everybody? Hope everybody's staying safe. Yeah, I hope you're safe and uh, very honored to be here in support of Malia Clapton's new movement, Turn Up for Recovery. And for more information about the mission, log on to turnupforrecovery.org. Bless you all for what you're doing. We, we truly appreciate it. And uh, everybody that's, that's helping to keep this under control. Uh, seems like just yesterday we were just living our lives, going on about our business, and now we find ourselves here. So we just like to offer you up a song for the moment right now. God bless you.
I'm Calvin. Uh, most people may know me as Mongoose. <laughs> I'm 34 years old. Uh, Antiguan, born raised artist by profession. I do tattoos, body arts, graffiti, piercings, you name it. A little bit of makeup, anything pertaining to art. Uh, I pretty much dabble in it. And I've been doing that for from since high school. I went to parties, I went to every fair, I went to every event, I went to everything. and. You know, of course, it's partying, I mean, but it's partying without some good old liquor, right? <laughs> and uh, I just thought it was normal to drink every day. I did that to get rid of a lot of emotional problems, a lot of trauma I've been through early childhood. Where I came from wasn't necessarily the best place. And drinking was um, a comfort zone to me. It's what made me happy. 
then in the misery and in the chaos. It's what made me happy. You know, the drinking started to, to take over my life without me actually knowing. And it never got any better. It just got progressively worse and worse and worse. And, you know, I became depressed, thoughts of suicide. I, I, I didn't want to be alive. I didn't want to live anymore. You know, drugs and alcohol was just messing me up. And, and I just wasn't myself. I lost contact with myself. I, I lost my way of self-being. I lost. I just lost touch with life entirely. Then I started getting in trouble, financial issues, poor health, and my life just became chaotic. I always thought everyone else was around me was the problem, not me. Things got really, really crazy. And I was asked by my family members if I, uh, if I want to go and get professional help if I want to seek help. I've heard of Crossroads Centers. Hmm. But I thought for Crossroads was for crazy people. <laughs> my breaking point was me just being sick and tired of being sick and tired. So if you understand me, I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. Every day is the same old BS. I was like, yeah, I will go. Because I know I needed help. You know, deep down inside of all that, I know I ain't no normal person drinking every day. And I made that, that, that phone call. So I went to the treatment center and I thought I was going to be greeted by a lot of folks dressed in all white or something. But it was nothing like that. But I, was, I, was, I was greeted with a lot of love and very nice people. It's the best decision I've ever made in my life. It's going to cross the center. Best decision I've ever made. That's what matters to me, because my life is better. How long have you been sober? I've been sober six months. Yesterday I made six months.